Night Captain, welcome back. Have you found what you needed to counter the Shadow Reavers? Excellent. I've had our scouts scouring the lands for the Reavers. They are elusive, but we've tracked one of their number. It patrols with a large force near Crossroad Keep. I'll mark the position on your map. We only know its general location, so be careful not to stumble into a trap. Perhaps Guyvin could help? He was giving advice to the scouts earlier. Good luck in your hunting, Captain. Thank you.
I have a visitor here for you, Captain, with an interesting proposition. I am the leader of the Raven's allies. We are mercenaries from Westgate. Our contracts have brought us from the Sea of Fallen Stars to here. We'd like to join your Grey Cloaks. These mercenaries are better than some I've seen, but they're still undisciplined and not used to rules or dealing with people. It could hurt us if we accept them. The Ravens are capable warriors, and some of them exceed the standards we set for our recruits. It'll be a pleasure working for you, Captain. I hope this works out for the best. What is it? Perhaps so. Kelgar, and I was just starting to have an acceptable day. Guards, remove this deserter from my sight. Impossible. The belt has long been lost. Actually, it's quite snug around my waist at the moment. Can't quite see it over the gut fully, but it's there. Guards, throw this traitor out. We have no use for your lies. So it comes down to this. You're going to refuse me the right of rule, after all your claims of devotion to the Iron Fist clan? All right then, I'll prove it to you, since your head is so full of rocks. Hope I don't make a fool out of myself with this. Glad to see someone has some faith for both of us. Here goes. What do you know? It actually worked! <laughs> you see that? I got the hammer of Iron Fist right here, light as a feather! Well, if it weighed a hundred stones. The one who holds the hammer of Iron Fist will lead our people. This has always been the way of our clan. This can't be. How can an impudent, brash outcast like that? Keros, this is our way. 
Kelgar has proven himself and reunited our greatest artifacts. He has earned our allegiance. I... very well. I... you all... you honor me! Look, get up! You, you don't need to kneel to me, all right? Mm. Look, I came here with a message and you need to hear it. This king of shadows coming out of the mare of dead men, he's a threat to us all, no matter how deep we dig in. We have to stand with Neverwinter. It's what's best for everyone, and we have to fight. There's no sitting this one out. What must we do? Keros here can organize you. He's done a fine job, and I don't see any reason he should stop. Well, I... It shall be done. Follow his lead, all of you, and prepare for travel to Crossroad Keep. I will meet you there, and when the King of Shadows comes, well, he'll have a fight they'll hear down in the Dwarven Hells, won't he? Something you need? Go? I almost... You humans have got some things to learn. Ah, they were just being stubborn and selfish. It makes no sense. Well, it just seems like maybe you're... Right. It's just an odd thought to get one's arm around and choke, you know? All right, maybe by not fighting and being more open to what's going on in the skull before cracking it. Maybe there's some truth in there. Somewhere. I'll try it, but I warn you, if I don't like it, I'm going back to learning the traditional way. Yes. Stay close and step where I step. Yes. Do you remember me? I am the one who tasted the lifeblood of several of those in Castle Never, whom you swore to protect. You should have learned then that I cannot be destroyed. Yield now, and I shall make your end quick. Defy me, and you shall die for days. You think that will make a difference? <laughs> the ritual burned clean all of my ties to pathetic mortality. <laughs> In Castle Never, you had the advantages of surprise and greater numbers. Here, those advantages are mine. It will take me some time to recite the name. Shield me until the recitation is complete, or the battle is theirs.
It is another shard, perhaps the last one we need. Perhaps, perhaps not. It is unclear to me, but no. Know that the name made it vulnerable and the Shadow Reaver is no more. And we recovered another shard upon its body. Know that other pieces of the blade are missing. But I think with this shard, we now have enough. Enough to remake the blade? And how do you know that? I simply know. But the pieces are not enough. I still do not understand how the sword was broken in the first place. Was it the power of the Avatar of the King of Shadows? I was not there when it shattered, so I do not know. If I could, I would. But you are right to ask me. At least I speak plainly, unlike the Gith. I was too busy being detained on the Lower Plains after the battle with the Avatar, and have had little time since then to discover how the blade was broken. But there is one who has had much time to consider it, and knows something of the King of Shadows. The King of Shadows has had many enemies. In the distant past, he fought an ancient dragon by the name of Nolaloth, and their battle spanned the plains. Nolaloth was defeated, unfortunately. He was struck down, but his spirit was chained to this realm by the Ilfarn Empire until they could find a way to heal him. He was their mercenary, you see. But neither he nor the Ilfarn were able to give the other what they needed. Nolaloth was defeated, and so were the Ilfarn. Agreed. Nolaloth held little else of value concerning the King of Shadows. Or so I thought until the Gith sought to enlighten us about this last shard. Suspicion is something that you know well, Amon. Know that I, too, have suspicions concerning sudden revelations, such as this dragon you have suddenly cast light upon. I find coincidences, too, to be a rare thing. There is often more reason behind them that can be seen with the eye. An amusing notion from one who is blinded by her own beliefs. I tire of this. In any event, this information may prove useless. The last time Nola Loth and I spoke, we did not part on friendly terms. He has little reason to help us, or me. I inquired after information to defeat the King of Shadows, and Nola Loth wished more than I could give at the time. If this Nola Loth knows how the blade was broken, then that is knowledge we must have. I can give you Nolaloth's location, but it's not an easy journey. In the past, Nolaloth had many guardians, red dragons, all of whom infest the area where he is chained. He is something of a legend in their eyes, and they make the pilgrimage to bask in his presence, and perhaps to steal secrets of the ancient Ilfarn ruins where he resides. I will mark its location on your map, and I am sure at least your Gith follower will wish to accompany you.
We have been climbing for some time, but I feel that our destination is near. Ah, look there. It is the path that Amanjero spoke of, the one that winds like the tail of a great beast. Strike swiftly. Now, strike swiftly. Now. Life grows thick here, even in the middle of these dead mountains. It must be the presence of the Dragon Spirit that makes this place possible. Know that we should continue our search. The Dragon cannot be far. This crystal it is shaped like the heart of a dragon. I do not think we should harm it, since that could serve only to anger the dragon. Know that perhaps... Know that I feel a great energy coming from this crystal. Dragonkin must be drawn to it and covet its power. They watch us for now. We must be careful.
dare to disturb me here? Were I not chained to this deathless existence, I would scatter your shattered bodies to the winds for your trespass. Yet instead, you roam unchecked within my remains, like parasites. What promises shall you make this time? You no doubt come at the heels of your masters, though they are not present. Lies! Why else would you be here in this one scar in the earth, were it not at the command of the Irfan? I may rest upon the brink of death, but do not think me blind to what transpires on my grave. You are here because you again need my help, though you always refuse the price. Did you think you could cage a power of the plains? I will show you what it means to be caged. Together we shall remain here, to contemplate, to despair, to rot. I have been here for millennia. How long do you think you will last, mortal? Shadow? What shadow? The King of Shadows has returned to this plane. Know that if he is not stopped... This changes things. While I hate the Irfan, that is but a pale flame compared to my hatred for the King of Shadows. I have not heard that cursed name for a lifetime. You will address me as Nolaloth Karagazant, but I know the weaknesses of the minds of mortals in shaping such words. You may settle with Nolaloth. Once I was a great power, an ancient being of crystal and might. Once, now no longer. Nolaloth. You were the worm of legend that fought the King of Shadows. Are you or are you not of Irfan? Dead. Then my last shreds of hope go along with them. It is a wonder that the endless decades have not driven me mad. I have waited for them for thousands of years. I was promised a new life, and instead, I have been abandoned, left to languish in this insignificant crack in the world. And when an eternity had passed, another fragile mortal appeared, no doubt seeking power. He called himself Armanjero and claim to be of Irvan. He pretended to bring good news, that the glorious Irvan Empire had returned to restore me to life. But what he wanted, I will never know. He asked me questions about my past, and what happened long ago, and then left. If you are not of Irvan, why have you come here to torment me? I would never fight it again, even if I could. And how am I to help, as impotent as I am now? For the mere chance of having a hand in destroying my adversary, I will help you. Ask your questions. The people of Ilfarn said many things, as did their leaders. 
They begged, filled the air with promises of glory and wealth, and I listened. Whatever your histories or seers have told you, know that I helped because I was promised the riches of the Irfan Empire. Worshipped? <laughs> I am no god, but even if I were, it would not matter. The hearts of all things are covetous. Mine is not deceitful, as it were. Then know that you may very well, for chance is not on your side. The King of Shadows is a power. The King of Shadows will employ doubt and darkness before the battle is even joined. The people of Ilfarn were desperate. Their once defender, known only as the Guardian, had been corrupted and transformed into the shadowy being that haunts you today. The King of Shadows was once the Light of Ilfarn. Its corruption was not the fault of the Ilfarn Empire. Directly, the Guardian was built to protect them from the Netherese a kingdom that had learned many of the secrets of Ilfarn. However, an archmage of Netheril named Karsis dared to challenge mortality itself. He absorbed all the magic from the weave to ascend to godhood, and for a brief time, the Guardian was stripped of its life essence. Because the Guardian was a creature of the weave, it needed a replacement to survive. Like all creatures, it desired life. So it drew from the only alternate source of magic, the Shadow Weave. The Shadow Weave is a potent but tainted source of power, and it was not long before the Guardian himself was corrupted. I do not know his identity. I cared little. The history of your people is littered with many such lapses in judgment, granting mortals power beyond the control of the ones they are intended to serve. The King of Shadows was once but an ordinary mortal. A great champion, they called him. But still, as fragile as the others, he was made into a creature fueled by the weave, tied into the fabric of magic. The King of Shadows brought despair, and the men of this land wailed loudly enough to get my attention. I answered the pleas out of curiosity. When I confronted the leaders of Ilfarn, they saw me as a potential ally in the fight against the King of Shadows. Never before have I met a being as relentless in its devastation. It exists by drawing upon the life and strength of others. As I grew weaker in battle, it only became stronger. Shadow triumphed that day. The Ilfarn. I fought the King of Shadows and paid the price for my arrogance. When it left, I was but a broken shell on a lesser plane. Atop this empty rock, I awaited the end. Presumably, your progenitors found a way to triumph despite my loss. They came to me and bound me with primitive magics. The years floated by like specks of dust in the still air. No one returned, and not even death could grant me peace. But many lifetimes later, they arrived, the Githyanki.
I had a conversation once with men of the astral plane. <laughs> they came with shimmering blades in hand and desperation reflected in their eyes. Always it is about this king of shadows. I have been deceived countless times by those it torments and the Githyanki were no different. They came and pleaded for advice, their pathetic cities having been attacked by your adversary. In a sense, your prisons do not seem to be effective. Of course, mortals lack perspective and can hardly be expected to plan beyond a few thousand years. In truth, the King of Shadows had not yet left its prison. Slowly, it was ripping open a portal into the astral plane. This fissure allowed it to manifest itself in an avatar, a powerful Nightwalker. The Githyanki objected to its presence. Many cities fell to the King of Shadows, even in its Nightwalker form. The Githyanki could not destroy it. Sword after sword shattered upon impact, and more cities fell. The Nightwalker could be hurt, but it could never be hurt enough. Not with a thousand swords. Somehow, the Githyanki had come to learn that I had battled with the King of Shadows in the past. They promised to restore me if I helped them. Did I know how to empower a weak race? No. I told them to turn their blades upon the growing portal itself, should they be able to locate it. The mongrels left with promises and never returned. I decided that either death, that of the Githyanki, or of the King of Shadows, would bring me some measure of satisfaction. Your adversary spreads its influence by corrupting its targets until they no longer resemble what they once were. Eventually, all one can see is the shadow. It grows long and distracts us from what casts it. But a shadow can never become more than a weak outline. It may stretch and grow fearsomely large, but always must it circle its master. Your blade is no different. If the sword is to be made whole again, you must look past the pale shadows its broken pieces cast and find the center from where the shadow emanates. If you do not, then there is no way in which the sword may be reformed. Then that is where you must go now, mortal. It will be perilous, but I believe we can use the song portal from the Ilfarn ruins to reach the Guardian ruins on the outskirts of West Harbor. I can see from your eyes that this is what you came for. Now, I must ask of you. Always I have been promised recompense at a later date. Even now, my mind verges on insanity with the long years. For tolerating your presence, I make but one demand. Kill me. You wish us to end your life? This life is an abomination, and I am no longer content to wait for chance to rescue me from the void. I am ultimately at your mercy, but know that you squabble over nothing. My life ended long ago. To kill me, mortal, you must simply destroy my heart. Be warned, it attracts many beings of power that feed from it, 
as you have already noticed. My body is no more, but in its place, a new kind of life has sprung into being. My heart is all that remains. The last shreds of my life reside within. You may harm it now that I wish it to be so. Go now. I tire of everything. How can I help? Hmm. What? Let us grant it sleep at last. Hurry, other beings may be drawn to the crystal as we speak. These dragons have only rage in their eyes. Words will not avail us here. Make your path mine.
At last, for the first time in ages, I am freed of my shackles, free to move towards death once again. It feels right. <laughs>